Yeah, what's up guys, now's UFC. The new update for UFC 5 is finally here. You know, it didn't take too long, by the way. It's a quick update, no downtime. And there he is, guys, Umar Namaga made off. They've added a bunch of new fighters. We're going to go through stats quick. And I'm going to play one game with each fighter. That's what I'm going to do for this video. And so, yeah, he's got his perks, work course, crazy legs, taekwondo, laser focus, wake up cool. There's his punch stats, guys. I'm going to go through it quick. Um, I'm trying to get into the game right away. But, oh shit, he's got five-star kickboxing combinations. His wrestling stats are going to be insane, as expected, guys. If you want to pause it, go ahead. Let's go for it. All right, there he is. There he is, guys. Man, this is... Oh my god, I do like his um his movement. Wait, is that unique? I wonder if they've captured, like, his motion. Because that is unique, guys. Damn. Guys, I swear he's got unique kicks. Or am I tripping, man? I think I'm tripping. He feels good, though. That lead kick's fast, man. Whoa. He went for that flying triangle. That's a lot faster now. That. If you guys don't know, the, the lead front kick's been buffed, so it's a lot faster. Whoa. Cool. He's trying to take me down. Man, he's trying his best. He's sim fighting like Gaojo. Alright, let's actually try fight now. Damn. Little knee. Body kick. On the land, he's question mark kicks. There you go. You know, they'd nerf the front kick, but like the speed of it is still quite kind of fast, you know. It's, yeah, it's kind of slow now. I can, I can feel this difference. No, it's not too bad. Oh, I thought you could combo that. Oh! It's beautiful. Got him. Damn. That's it. Guys, I'm thinking I might do a separate like showcase video for each new fight they've added over the next few days. Like I might make a video of me using um like Mohammed Makayev, Umano Magomedov in like ranked. Bang. Guys, his stamina's kind of cooked, man. And I know they reduced the, the stamina recovery by a certain... I think it was by 20%. You recover 20% less stamina now after each round. So I want to see how that looks. I'm going to try and not beat him. Body kick. Head kick. Guys, I've added a lot of fighters, so this might be a long video, man. I'm being honest. Cool, there's the round ended. I'm glad I didn't finish him. Um, yeah, I want to see how, how his stamina looks. See if he recovers a lot. See this, guys. He didn't recover a lot, guys. I'll be honest. His stamina's cooked. That's, that's what... That's a good thing. All right, he could do the standing guillotine. Bearing him wandering. Oh, he can't do a spinny head kick. That's okay. You can do a tornado kit though. No! Oh my god. Oh. Dash choke, has he got it? 
We don't. We defended that though. Oh my god, that's the wrestling reversals, guys. He's got a dash trick from here though. Let's do this, shall we? Oh my god, god, he defended that. Dash trick. Oh, I think, guys, he's going to get one shot. He's going to get one shot. Ow. That must be submission defense, that. What is he thinking? Let's go side. I'm assuming he does have an arm triangle. I'm going to try attempt this reversal. Yep, he's got one. And... He's been tapped. Good match. Good match. All right, guys. That's Umar Namaga made of, man. Insane kicks. Insane ground game. Definitely going to be one of my mains at Bantamweight, guys. I'm being dead serious, man. All right, guys. We're now in the flyweight division. We're going to use Mohamed Makai, of course. Four and a half star wrestler. There's the slam boost perk. Guys, by the way, his character model's insane. Just look at it. One to one. Looks just like him. Um, slam boost workhorse grinder. Crazy legs. The stand-up stats won't be the best, of course. My opponent's just locked in, so I'm going to go through the stats quite quick, guys, before he quits. Grappling's insane. The cardio is a bit high. I thought that would be a little bit lower, but he's got loads of five-star moves. Damn. All right, let's go. There he is in game, guys. I noticed the footwork the, the footwork speed is really slow, especially for this weight class. So, you guys, yeah, if, you're, if you're using it, make sure you wrestle, man. Quite fast hands. Everyone in this weight class is fast, man. Nah, that actually, that's kind of fast. All right, guys, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I want to try out the new takedowns. That felt quick, man. He defended it well. Fair play to him. I will catch him. I will catch him. Oh, got him. Let's go. Head kick. Damn. What? How did he defend that? He's trying to take me down. Checked. Damn, whoever I'm playing's got good stand up. I need to take him down ASAP. Got him. Whoa, I didn't expect him to. Ugh. I'm actually terrible, guys. Where's he going, guys? All right, he does not know how to wrestle this player. Ah, he got it. I'm so bad. All right, we're doing this. We're doing this. Whoa. Careful, mate. Take his back. Rene can choke position just like Makaev likes it. Deny that. Keep draining him. He's going to freak out. Choked. Ooh, he's nearly gone. Let's look at that purple bar, guys. One more submission. Let's go for ground and pound. If we can get a stun here, guys, we can start a another submission. Oh, we got it. Let's posture up. Go straight for it. He's cooked. Oh, my God. Oh, he got out. I kind of let him, you know. I'm being dead serious, guys. I wanted to try and get a, a late armbar animation for the video. Now let me smoke him. Enough trolling. Let's do it for real this time. Right, he moves that way. Then he moves... Oh, I thought he almost got out again, you know. There you go. There you go, Mohamed Makaev, guys. There he is. Guys, if you if you like wrestling, you know, definitely a good pick in the flyweight division. There's not a lot of wrestlers. There's Amir Albazi, but there's no way he's got good ground game stats like Makaev. Yeah, definitely, guys. Use Makaev if you're a wrestler. Right, guys, we're now in the welterweight division. I'm going to use Jeff Neal. There he is. Four-star fight. I was a bit disappointed about the star rating in my previous video. It's what it is. Marathon of fast hands, laser focus, pay to miss uh, to your feet. Stand-up stats are going to be great. His punching stats, all that stuff is going to be good. He's obviously a really good boxer. Oh, don't quit out on me. Oh, he's going to Kamara Usman. 
Um, health stats, the card is quite low. Makes sense, to be fair. He has gassed out quite a bit in the past. Five-star boxing combinations, five-star straight. That all makes sense, guys. Um, but yeah, if he keeps winning, he's going to get buffed. All right, let's see how, he, how his stance looks like. Not bad, not bad. He's got that little idle look to him, you know. Not bad. Guys, they've got the... Um, their idle stance is quite good, you know, with these new fighters. I'm being honest. Seems faster. Oh, that's all cool. I'm just walking around because I feel like they've actually captured his walking around motion. I'm not tripping. That one two is quick, by the way, guys. He's got a five star straight, on not he? Oh my god, it's mad. My opponent's going to try to grapple me. So I'm going to be wary of that takedown. The takedowns have been buffed, guys, if you don't know. They're a lot faster and they cover more distance now. Try taunting. Damn. I'm kind of spamming. I need to chill with that one two combo. We've got to play technical. Ooh, he pieced me up. Classic Nas UFC block break combos. Oh, he's caught me. Slipped into that. He's got head kicks. Damn, Kamal's user has got a chin. There you have it, guys. Stack guard, ground and pound finish from Jeff Neal. A man, he's good. As long as you guys can keep it on the feet, he's a solid, solid boxer. That that one-two combination was super fast. I reckon you could deal some mad damage towards your opponent in a ranked match, man. But, yeah, man. I think he can compete with, like, Conor McGregor and Leon on the feet. But on the ground game, he, his stats must be shit, man. All right, cool, guys. We're now in the featherweight division. There's two new fighters added in this weight class. Mosvar, Evloev, and Diego Lopez. We're going to use Mosvar first. Um, four and a half star wrestler. A lot of daggy stunning wrestlers have been added into this, this game, guys. Workhorse, grinder, crazy legs, no cigar, wake up call. Um, yeah, wake up call makes sense for him, to be fair. Decent punch and stats. You know, not the best, of course. Obviously, he's a wrestler. 97 submission defense, guys. That stands out. That makes perfect sense. 95 takedowns, 95 top control. Guys, takedowns have been buffed, so that those stats are definitely going to help. And look, he's got four. He's got five-star wrestling with takedowns, reversal sweeps, and single legs. So, insane wrestler. Once again, in the featherweight division, where you don't really have a lot of good wrestlers, so he's going to stand out. And I've noticed with this new update, man, they've added a lot of wrestlers, man. Especially those Dagestani ones. Too many. Conor McGregor fans are going to be crying. Oh, I was going to shoot a single leg. He's got a fresh trim like me too, guys. Look at that. Fresh. All right. Let's try to get this man down, shall we, guys? Got to use a few Dagestani takedowns. He's going to throw a head kick because he's stupid. Sure of it. He's trying to intimidate me with that Conor McGregor stance. But I already know this guy's a bum, guys. Ooh! Whoa! The Clams Out music's just played, guys. The did it did it did He's got crucifix, I noticed, guys. He's got an arm triangle as well. That's all cool. What's he thinking, guys? Ooh! Oh, he hasn't got a Kimura, so I can't do that reversal to the left. If he goes up, though, however, I might have a Dar stroke. Not too sure, though. I'm not going to risk it. 
arm triangle he's got from Mount and an arm bar. He hasn't got a triangle choke. Alright. I don't want to bore my opponent. I don't want him to quit. So I'm going to go side control here. See what he's got. Yeah, he hasn't got a dash choke. He's got a Kimura. Oh, how did that submission not work then? Maybe it's a low rated. Yeah, it's a low. He's got a low rated Kimura, so he can't do that reversal. Oh my god, this guy's trying to sub me. You mad, right? <laughs> he went for it. Right, let's see. Let's get him in the crucifix. So we could do an arm triangle from here. That's not too cool, though. Let's go for some damage. Alright, let me beat this guy on the feet, because I know I can. He's a noob. Let's get back up for him. <laughs> there you have it, guys. GG's. Right, guys, honest opinions on Mozvar. You know, good takedown stats, good top control stats, but he hasn't got good submissions. So if you're a fan of submissions, you know, don't pick him. But if you if you know how to do like good ground and pound, you know, you know how to like control people, then pick him. That would be a good fighter to use in the featherweight division. Right, guys, featherweight division again. We're gonna use Diego Lopez. There's his character model, man. Yeah, looks just like him, guys. They've actually done these character models really good. There's all these perks. I'm gonna lock in quite fast because I don't want my opponent to leave. Stand up stats decent. He's gonna have good grappling stats like his submissions, right? Oh, don't leave. I've locked in. Right, he's tall as hell too, guys. He's tall as hell. Look, he's behind the submission health bar. Crazy. Guys, I like the hair physics. His hair's moving around too. That's cool. Man, my opponent's been patient. Oh my god, my opponent's actually quite decent, guys. I'm going to keep it on the feet, but if he takes me down, I'm going to go for submission. That's what that's going to be my game plan, guys. I mean, that's the best thing I could do. Kind of simulate him. Oh, he's got terrible sand up, though, man. Not the best. Especially in this weight class, man. There's, a, there's killers in this weight, man. Don't want to be caught using Diego Lopez against my Conor McGregor, man. That's just the truth, especially in ranked. Or Taporia players. My patient's patient. He's throwing safe combos. It's technical. Damn, he's landed a good little punch there on me. Let's try land a counter. He's going high low. Out of that. Ooh, four piece land. Just waiting for him to hit my body, guys. He's not doing it. Head kick. Ooh. He's got mad health stats, guys, so it's hard to hurt him. Guys, why won't you wrestle me? There's no way you just pick Mozvar to stand, right? Surely not. Here we go. Damn, guys, it's a close fight, man. I'm trying to take a lot of risks, but... I'm doing good, I'm doing good now. There you go. Look, guys, I took more risks than him. You know, he's playing really shy. Herb Dean just walked through Mosvar there. But that's what happens when you don't take risks in this game. If you play, if you play too safe, 
then you're not going to have success, man. You've got to take that risk sometimes. And I was just letting my hands go. He's he's playing behind his jab way too much. Oh, I was trying to go stat guard. Kind of fucked up. Ooh. Kicks me off him. Yeah, he's definitely a good player. Oh, there it is. Take down defense. Faking guys, he knows how to fake. I'm not biting on them though. Got it. Oh my god, I'm so much smarter. I'm smarter, guys. I was able to tell which one the real one was. He just recovered from a knockdown, so I should be able to do damage. Okay, where's he thinking, guys? Come on, go up. Whoa, he's built that GA quite nice. Oh, he reversed it. Have I got rubber guard? I do. That's, that's cool. This guy's got a good ground game, you know. I was just going to go for it. Got him. Got him in mount. Ooh. Armbar. He's gonna fake. But he's he's screwed. Oh. That's another one. What's he thinking, chat? Let's go up again. Is he giving up? I think he's giving up. Poor lad. Oh, shit, he moved there. Oh, he got out. Round three, guys. Round three. I've cooked his arm. His, his block's going to be really low because I got him in two arm bars, I believe. Three knockdowns. Uh, four knockdowns in total. Three knockdowns in round two. Yeah, he's screwed, man. Good player. I have to say. <clears throat> All right. He's not touching gloves. Okay, let's look at his block, guys. It's cooked. Let's hit him with these silent shots that he will never fix. Let's do it. Silent shot, silent shot, silent shot, silent shot. It reminds me of that like, Modern Warfare 2 trick shots where you can do silent shots. Ah! <laughs> Guys, I'm just flicking him. Oh, caught him. Right, guys, honest opinions on Diego Lopez. You know, he hasn't got the best stand-up, but his ground game is insane. He's got... So many submissions, rubber guard. I'm pretty sure he could, he could probably pull off a bunch of reversals too. So if you do like the ground game and you do like submissions, he would be your go-to in featherweight. But if you like ground and pound and you like doing damage, then Mosvar would be your go-to. He's got good takedowns and good ground and pound and good top control. So they're both really good. All right, guys, we're now in the middleweight division. We're going to use Brendan Allen. You know, obviously he's going to have insane ground stats. His stand-up stats won't be too bad. He's got 93 punch speed, 94 punch power, which is, you know, I, I completely agree with that.
All right, guys, we're now in the middleweight division. Brendan Allen's here. There's his character model. And shit, I've just noticed Chris Weidman is actually in the featured fighters list, guys, right there, just behind my face cam, which might mean he's going to get an auto ego next week. I am. Oi, he's on my pick, guys. Um, yeah, let's go through his stats. Grappling stats. Yeah, look at the submission offense, guys. 97, 96 submission defense. Insane. Um, five star rear naked choke. I would have expected him to have more five star moves, really, but no, he don't. So, all right, let's go. Well, yeah, guys, we might see a Chris Weidman auto we go next week. I wonder who the others are going to be, because I'm I'm pretty sure it won't be just one. Man, it got to be Conor McGregor, man. Conor McGregor two or five auto ego, man, please. Pro My guess would be Chris Weidman. I don't know. I'm actually not too sure. Dominic Cruz, maybe? Chel Sonnen? Who knows? All right, guys. I'm tall as hell. That lead head kick was fast, but like the animation is the shit one, you know? Bang. Bang. All right. I want to get him down, guys. I want to get him down. Ugh. All right, we're going to have to go for a takedown in a sec, guys. I'll be honest. Let's push him away a little bit. Give us some space. Come on. Uh, no. His takedowns aren't the best, guys. Beautiful. Got a flying knee, guys. How clutch was that? Ooh, he's got Kimura and a dash choke, guys. As expected. Let's try pull off a reversal here. Come on, go up. Done it. All right, arm triangle synced in. Can we actually pull it off though? Yep. Damn, that's done damage. We just need one more, and he's gone. All right. We'll sit here for a bit, try to deny transition. Ooh. Yep, we got it. Dark choke. Now we've got a drain of stamina. Deny that. Beautiful. Oh, he denied it. All right. Denied it. I denied it. Yes. Out of the game. Dark choke victory in round one. I, mate, that was a perfect, perfect match. I got hurt on the feet. Took him down, submitted him. Perfect. Guys, like I said, man, they've added so many grapplers and wrestlers into this update. If you're a fan of the submissions and wrestling in this game, then definitely go for it. But if you're not, if you're not, you're a striker, then he's not your pick, man. Only if you're a wrestler, you should be picking him, really. And if you're fighting him, definitely avoid the ground game, of course, man, because he's got way too many submissions and you only need two. All right, cool guys. I'm quickly going to go over the stats for the other fighters. I'm not going to show any gameplay because I CBA. Don't really. I'm never going to use them. I don't think you guys will use them either. Marina Rodriguez. There's our stats. I'm not going to go too crazy reading them, guys. All right, cool guys. There's Tracy Cortez. I cracked the model's not it, man. I don't know what it is. It's just not it. Looks too goofy, in my opinion. Um. But yeah, there's our stats. Um. Yep. Right, guys. And finally, there's Sergey Spivak. You know. Um, yeah, there's the stats, guys. I'm never going to use Sergei Spivak. I'm going to be dead serious. But, yeah, guys, in the middleweight division, like I said earlier, guys, you'll notice that you'll see Chris Weidman in the features fight list. Um, it could mean we're going to get a Chris Weidman auto ego next week. I think I'm pretty sure we are. But I wonder which version of him. Like, is it going to be a really young version or his prime version? We'll have to see. I'm guessing it's going to be his prime version of when he beat, like, you know, um, Anderson Silva and guys I've also noticed Conor McGregor in the lightweight division has moved like up the list in the featured lightest fighters he used to be between Tony and Cerrone in the previous patch he's now gone up a little bit more so that could be a good sign guys that could be a really good sign we're going to get Conor McGregor also we got lightweight I would love that that would be massive news all right cool guys that's it for this video uh, make sure you drop a like let me know if you noticed anything new that i missed in this new update make sure you drop it in the comment section below and i'm thinking of doing a showcase for the new 
good fighters that they've dropped into the game, like Umar, um, Mokayev, Lopez, Mosvar, you know, Jeff Neal, all those fighters, separate videos. If you guys want me to make those showcases of me using them in ranked, then let me know. I'll do that. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.